Tony Abbott has nominated the Day of White Settlement and the captain who led it as the single most important event in Australian history. The Prime Minister's gone where historians have not in launching a list of the 100 defining moments of Australian history. Political correspondent Greg Jennett reports. The Australian story told in 100 dot points. And this is important because of its aftermath. Judges, historians and patriots have crunched centuries into 100 defining moments. But he's wow. also got the formation of the Labor Party. There's the arrival of the Merino sheep in 1797, troop landings at Gallipoli, the Japanese bombing of Darwin and the start of mining at Broken Hill in 1885. Picking the list is tough enough. The Prime Minister's gone one further because the arrival of the First Fleet was the defining moment in the history of this continent. Governor Philip with his officers and men takes possession of this vast land. Tony Abbott acknowledges that January Day in 1788 later brought indigenous suffering, but... It's British settlement that has most profoundly shaped the country that we are. And he credits the man of the 18th century who commanded the fleet as the defining figure of Australian history. Arthur Phillip is as significant to modern Australia as George Washington is to the modern United States. Controversial? Perhaps because some recent versions of history haven't treated white settlement as a day of celebration at all. Shame! Shame! But even about those events, we may have different views, and I think that's part of the value of this project. The Prime Minister has some historical currents behind him. This weekend marks the bicentenary of Arthur Phillip's death, a once-in-200-year chance for Tony Abbott to try to restore his place in history. It's quite a project. Do you know who Arthur Phillip was? No. Nah. Oh, he was the first Governor of Australia, wasn't he? He brought the first fleet to uh, Australia. Oh, did he? Oh, there you go. They were standing on Philip Street. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.